So once we get started, you're going to blur out my face, right? Change up my voice? I don't want anyone to be able to identify me. Don't worry, face, name, voice, it's all going to be blur. Your anonymous whistleblowing claims against the NSA have been validated in recent days. How does that make you feel? Yes, it must have been a relief for you. Now, I know it must have been difficult for you to come out against your former colleagues. It wasn't easy, but nothing is. No, I imagine not. No. You told me backstage that you've been living in seclusion for the past few months. Please, walk me through your daily routine. I get up when I want, except on Wednesdays when I get rudely awakened by the dustman. I see. I put my trousers on, have a cup of tea, and I think about leaving the house. Harrowing. I feed the pigeons, I sometimes feed the sparrows too. It gives me a sense of enormous well-being. Of course. Now, detractors claim that by releasing information on the government's intelligence operations, you've put lives in danger. It's not my problem. So you don't feel at all guilty? It's not my that's a very cavalier attitude, don't you think? Do you have any advice for people out there who are concerned that their private data has been compromised? Sound advice for any American. Thank you for your bravery in coming on the show tonight. I'm Chris Madison, and as always, Girls who are boys, who like boys to be girls, who do boys like their girls, who do girls like their boys, always should be someone you really love. Good night, and woohoo.